Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the token allowance in MetaMask. So you might be wondering what is token allowance in MetaMask. Say for example, if you're trying to swap uh, using quick swap and then you're uh, using your wallet as a MetaMask. So you're trying to swap uh, 10 matic to maybe usdc so what's happening is when actual swap is happening quick swap will uh, ask you the permission like how much uh, matic you want to give like you know permission to spend either you can select like you know exact same number of coins which is like 10 matics if you don't select that one it will take automatically you are giving infinite uh, like you know unlimited token approval so if there is a issue with a smart contract or any bug or even some like you know some people can you know steal your funds if you give unlimited approvals on the token so it's very important to uh, check your metamask wallet how much per uh, token allowance you given for each transaction so that way you can uh, you can re restrict uh, any funds like you know draining from your wallet so let me show an uh, example here so here i am using a zephyr 5 uh, it's kind of a DeFi aggregator so i have collected uh, connected my metamask wallet uh, via zephyr 5 so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to say swap matic to usdc so i select maybe 10 matic and then i click on the usdc you can see the price here but then like it's asking here you see allowance is exact amount so that means if i select the exact amount it will select only 10 matic so zapper doesn't uh, you know try to take more than 10 matic from my metamask but like if you didn't if you don't realize if you put it like infinite that means you are giving uh, zephyr fight to take unlimited tokens from your metamask wallet actually if you use the quick uh, quick swap or pancake swap you don't have this option so basically you don't know like uh, what permission you are giving unless you go to the settings and uh, edit the um, transaction details then you can see but here like you know if you use uh, another uh, DeFi aggregators like zephyr or dbank it's uh, easier to see so for example if you go and click on exchange here and then we are going to go to metamask now yeah before you sign the contract make sure you always check how much uh, token allowance you are approving so you can see here total 10 matic and then estimated is edit so let's see edit some issue with the gas let's try one more time i'm not sure what happened there okay so confirm It's uh, slightly slow, but in the meantime, what I can do is uh, you might be wondering how can I check my token allowance on uh, Matic or like, you know, for any other tokens uh, on the MetaMask. So what you can do is there are a couple of tools which you can use to check your token allowances. Say, for example, uh, this is a uh, it's very good one. The bank actually this is one of the DeFi portfolio tracker you can see what's your balances and everything but then there is option also here approval all you have to do is you just go home and then connect your uh, metamask wallet so at the moment i am in my profile and then you can see approval so at the moment like when i'm in my ethereum network you see 
like i didn't realize like you know i was giving uh, unlimited uh, token approvals for all these swaps so i realized only recently like maybe a couple of days ago about this so that's why i just want to make a video and aware uh, uh, like you know create awareness uh, for other people so we won't be like kind of you know someone won't be taking our funds from the metamask if there is any smart contract bug or any other issues but if i try to see on the polygon so i have used the quick swap before but like you know quick swap by default it took uh, unlimited approval so you might like you know you can uh, revoke this uh, unlimited approval and then give only kind of you know whatever limited so let me go and uh, decline that one so what happening now is a d bank will connect to your metamask and then it will revoke this uh, infinite approval to just like maybe exact number i think here uh, i was uh, using eight so maybe let's uh, change that to like eight or nine some reason my metamask is slow today let's try one more time okay so transaction fee edit and then like you know even when you are using the quick swap or pancake swap you can always go here like you know full transaction details and uh, you can see here permission request uh, may access and spend up to this max amount so you see zero usdc basically here i'm not giving any approval all i'm paying is just a gas fee gas fee to revoke that permission so it's always important to go to transaction details and check how many tokens are you giving the permission so let's go and confirm the transaction so i have paid two cents for this uh, particular transaction or to revoke that uh, permission on my metamask it's completed now You see, you can see on the screen that the polygon is kind of a disappeared there. I think that uh, I revoked that approval. But like we can check again also once this completely finished. I was not aware of this token allowance um, like, you know, only until last few days. So that's why I was kind of started checking all my wallets and then I thought maybe I could make a video so other people also knew about this issue. So if I go to BSC, I still have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of coins with unlimited uh, allowances. So I have to go back and revoke all of them now. So let's go back to Polygon. Yeah, it's gone now, but um, this is for the Polygon. And then if you want to use Ethereum, you can just uh, switch to Ethereum tab here and then you can see what are the token allowances you have on the Ethereum network. And so this D-Bank is like really good. You can check all the networks uh, on your MetaMask with a single app. But then if you want, if you have only BSC uh, chain, if you want to check on the BSC, you could use a BSC scan token approval checker. All you have to do is you just uh, type your uh, wallet, wallet address here and then it will, it will bring all the tokens with unlimited approval. As you can see on my BSC, looks like I have every token with the unlimited except this one the thing you know what happened was i was using the pancake swap so i didn't realize pancake swap was taking uh, like you know granting unlimited approval so if there is an issue on the kcc pad or pancake swap uh, smart contract if there is any bug or if the hacker found a loophole they could drain my wallet so i'm gonna change them all to like kind of limited whatever i needed for my transaction and then another good one is like another tool is like app.unrec.net so this is also good all you have to connect your metamask wallet and then you ch can check the um, token allowances so finally the last one this is good for the bsc also same again here you just have to connect your metamask and then uh, 
check your token allowances. So as you see, we have four tools at the moment like DBank, BSC, Scan Token Approvals. This is Unrecked and then Beefy Finance, BSC Allowance. So I'm going to put all the URLs in the description box below. Please check them and make sure you check your uh, MetaMask wallet. What are the permissions you are giving? Make sure you are not giving more than like, you know, what's needed. Um, I think uh, I was kind of doing some more research uh, trying to find out why these uh, swaps like, you know, fix swap or pancake swap taking unlimited, but uh, realize like, you know, it's because of the ease of use. So they don't want to people try to sign approve transactions each time. So that's why they are by default granting the unlimited up, uh, approval. So that's why I think it's better to use these kind of tools like Zaffer or DBank where you can exactly specify how much like do you want to grant infinite or exact so where if you use the pancake swap or quick swap you have to go into the you know transaction details and change there but if you use this one it's like you know very good clean ui you can quickly specify here so i started using this zapper for that i'm gonna made uh, one more uh, quick uh, detailed uh, zapper overview uh, probably in next couple of days and uh, yeah that's it guys i just want to show this uh, uh, quick uh, you know summary how to prevent like in you know, scams to draining funds draining from your wallet so if you like this video please subscribe comment and uh, like the share the video and uh, I'm going to do more videos uh, about MetaMasks and any tips and tricks uh, I'm learning on the way. Thank you.